Hello everyone, today I will uh, show you how to generate the TCP or UDP source port graph uh, in Mininet. Sometimes when we work with Mininet and then we generate the graph uh, of TCP, UDP and uh, FTP. So how can we do it? Uh, so in so today I will uh, implement. I will use the simple cell script to get the evaluation result and then I use a GNU plot to draw the graph. So first I will create one switch and two, uh, two hosts. Okay, we ter open terminal, uh, access to the root user, sudo I, password. And then I will uh, create one switch, sudo minimate dot dot topo uh, single two switch uh, two host and one switch okay now i create already and then <coughs> i will open the uh, host one host two terminal of host one and host two h term host one and host two okay and this one is host one and this one is host two uh, for my purpose, I want to host two as the TCP uh, server and host one as the uh, TCP client. So I will start first to the server. I uh, server dot s and port five five six six and time interval dot i I define uh, one millisecond. So it will uh, record millisecond, one millisecond. Okay. Enter. After that, I will uh, start the client on a uh, TCP client on the host one. So I puff client and access to the server. The server IP is ten dot zero dot zero dot two. Uh, port five five six six port server. And for accessing, I will take time a uh, 15 uh, time interval uh, t time 15 second. Okay. Now I will now press enter. Now is uh, access to the server. Is that data generated from the uh, server to host to. Okay, now 15 seconds is finished, and then we go to host two to uh, close the working by uh, press command Control C, Control C. So now this data. So if we want to draw the support graph, we should uh, take this data to one file. Take this data, take this data to one file. Uh, we need to do so. We need to do the evaluation again. But this time we need to save the result into a file. The result into a file. After that, use the GNUP plot, GNU plot to draw the graph. So I will run it again. Uh, I press server port 556 and then I will output to new file. Is the result file or ESULT result file. And then for the client. I start it again, access again, okay, uh, aside again. Local. Okay. okay, now finish, and then we uh, command C on uh, host 2. So if you want to read the result, in in the uh, result file we write command more result okay we now we can see the result that in the result file so if we want to get the data out plotting we use the grab section to reserve the line containing a uh, section so we will write command uh, we will uh, stream data if uh, because we need to uh, interval time we need the interval time and we need only the bandwidth so now we hit hit uh, result uh, 
grape or EP grape uh, second and head uh, 15 TR A A W K Uh, print print the la four and the la h uh, i put as the new result as you as new result as new result so now we 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 we, we, we look at the grade section so for the grade section what does it mean is the result the line containing a uh, second and for the head, for the head, uh, 15 is from beginning. From beginning, get the first 15 line. Get the first uh, 15 line. Head is mean the from beginning, and get 15 line. Uh, TR, TR is mean using to replace, to replace uh, uh, the uh, symbol, the symbol, and AWK. And AWK will get the four and the H line. The four and the H line column, column, four column, uh, one column, two column, three column, four column, and eight column. Okay, now we enter the new result. So if you want to read the new result, we write comment more uh, new result. Now we can get the interval and the bandwidth. Okay. So after that, we write command uh, g g n u plot g n u plot. So if uh, your Ubuntu don't have the g u g u g n u plot, you can install by this command. So I will I will explain you by this command. We can uh, first we uh, access to sudo root user right. password. After that, we install application.get uh, install uh, gnu plot gnu plot h eleven So if you done uh, if your Ubuntu done in, uh, still not install the gnu plot you can install by this command application.get install gnu plot uh, okay but for me i install already so i will close <coughs> and then i will uh, plot now i will plot the file new file and then uh, title i use uh, tcp flow tcp flow uh, with line point with line point with line point okay now it's generate like that so the title tcp flow this one tcp flow if we want to modify the graph we can uh, now i want to set rank this one i can set set uh, e rank from uh, 20 to 40 to 40 now and then i set e great tick uh, t i c uh, e great tick t c s from 20 30 and 40 okay now now i refresh the graph re plot okay now e great rank from 20 uh, 30 and 40 if you if you want to modify the edge rank is the same so we can set edge rank uh, from 1 uh, from 0 to 50 to 50 and then we set edge tick ics from 0 5 10 and 50 Okay, now I report again. Report graph again. 
so we can see 0, 5, 10, 15. Okay, now I want to uh, set a great label displays and a label displays. So I will set a great label. I put is the uh, TCP through put uh, make make up by per second. Yes, and set a label. Uh, a label is the time uh, as a can as a can and then I will refresh graph again uh, report report now okay now we can see the uh, e-grade label is the TCP through support make by per scan and a label is the time second so now for the TCP support is okay and finish so I will exist it exists this is the TCP tool I see for the uh, TCP client and now I want to uh, test with the UDP UDP transmission e evaluation so first I I will uh, each term host 1 host 2 again but now I I will uh, use uh, host 2 as the UDP server and host 1 as the UDP uh, client so now I will uh, start on the host 2 UDP server so I will uh, IPUF uh, IPUF dot server dot OE UDP port uh, 5566 and it will uh, record as the millisecond dot I 1 millisecond and I will output to the result file or ESULT enter and then I will uh, open I will open the uh, UDP host one UDP client so I perf C client C client and access to the server uh, for the server is the 10.0.0.2 uh, and I can set bandwidth. Uh, now I can set bandwidth. Bandwidth uh, 10 megabyte per second. I can set bandwidth. And for the time of processing, I set uh, 15 second. Dot T 15 second. With port uh, 5566. Okay, now enter. And wait a moment. Wait, wait, there is a okay now finish to the client access to the server 15 seconds and then we move to the uh, host 2 UDP server and press control C control C to stop and then we all the result all the result is uh, output to the result file now we read the result or a result now we can see now we can see the result of the UDP transfer bandwidth jitter packet loss uh, total diagram okay okay now we can uh, cat the result again cat uh, result cat the result grab uh, second and for the head take from uh, first line to take the 15 line uh, 15 and we will stream and we will stream uh, the, the symbol is one symbol two stream symbol we pass to uh, spec awk Uh, we will uh, print we will print uh, column 4 and take column H and take column H column 4 and take column H and we will 
I put the new design. New V S new V S U T new design. Okay, now we are the new design. We can see. Uh, the result we can see the result bandwidth is the 10 uh, megabyte so this call I said I the client access with the uh, bandwidth of megabyte per second so now I will start the GNU plot and then I will plot the file new result with title uh, UDP flow uh, with with line with line point oh no oh plot and p p l o t okay now i get the, the result so for the graph if a 10 megabyte per scan be score for the client i said uh dot b dot megabyte per second i said the bandwidth so if you want to modify, if you want to modify the uh, EGH label or EGH label or EGH rank, EGH rank, uh, we can do the same of the TCP uh, support that I uh, explained you before. So now it's finished. It's this. We exist. It's this. And it's this the uh, UDP client. And then we can exist the uh, millinet. And after that, we will clean the controller, the controller. Okay, for uh, for the TCP and UDP support graph that generate in the internet now is finished. And thank all of you for watching my video. If you have some problem or some point that you don't understand, you can uh, comment on my YouTube channel as below. I will con uh, I will uh, reply you. Okay, thanks. Goodbye.